Hello everybody, good morning to all of you. I hope you guys are doing amazing today. We uh, are going to continue with the halakhot of what we started yesterday, which is the concept of uh, not reading uh, by the light of the candles on Shabbat. And there is an interesting question that may be connected to this one. Uh, is it possible on Shabbat to read a book or to read notes with the intention to correct them after Shabbat? So I'm going to leave the hachana issue, the preparation problem. The issue is maybe he's going to correct them on Shabbat. Maybe he's going to actually take a pen, a pencil, and he's going to actually do a melacha on Shabbat, <coughs> since the purpose is really to uh, to correct and um, rectify those notes. So the halacha is, according to Chacham Ovadia, that it's actually muta because that would be just like the case where the candle, the, the light, is behind a glass and you need, and it's locked which means that if it's so far-fetched that you have to actually get the key and then do the melacha of touching the light, then it would be muta. So in this same case scenario where you would have to actually get the tools, so leave the room, get the tools, and come back and correct that too far-fetched, and therefore it would be muta uh, on Shabbat. However, according to this, you have to make sure that uh, the uh, school supplies, a pen, pencils, eraser, etc. are not going to be around when the person is going to read the book to make sure that he won't come to do such melacha on Shabbat. And now, obviously, this makes no difference if it's Hidushet Torah or if it's uh, school studies or college studies, whatever it is. Okay, the halacha should be the same. Chacham does mention that for someone who has a Hidush, let's say he's reading something, something and suddenly something pops out and he really, really is into the, the Hidush and doesn't want to forget, it would be okay on Shabbat to just leave like a mark page uh, on that area. This way, he will not forget after Shabbat the Hidush that he uh, realized and will be able to do so. I wish you all an amazing day and Shabbat Shalom.